Hello there. Welcome to another episode of Travel Chef. Well, today we are going to make is rice wine. And this is a simple and easy recipe where you can make uh, wine out of rice and which can be done in 14 to 21 days. So let's see how is it made. Come on. Would you like to make rice wine at home? Do follow a video for the entire recipe and see how rice wine is made at home. To make a rice wine, we have taken 200 grams of uh, boiled rice and uh, we can use any other rice too. So it's not necessary only to use boiled rice. Second ingredient is sugar. We have got 1 kilo of sugar for 200 grams of rice. The third step is to pour 1.5 liters of water. Next, we have placed a vessel on the stove and we need to boil the water. As the water boils, we need to add the sugar as the first ingredient that we have kept aside. We stir the sugar as the water boils to melt the sugar. We have to wash our rice before we make the wine. So for this we need to uh, use clean water and wash our rice before cooking it. Now our sugar is melted with the water. Next is to add the rice that we have cleaned. So we are going to boil our rice a bit in the sugar solution. Now we need to boil our rice along with the sugar solution for 3 to 4 minutes. Now it is 3 minutes since our rice is boiling. Next we need to switch out the stove and take it off the stove too. Now we need to keep it for 8 hours and after which we will uh, start making our wine. To make our wine uh, we have taken quarter glass of uh, water and we have heated it for 30 seconds. In fact the, uh, this is to add the yeast. So uh, a lukewarm water will always be helpful for the yeast to ferment. Now we are going to add 1 teaspoon of yeast. Now we are adding the yeast to the water and we mix it together. Now we keep this yeast aside. The ingredients required to make a rice wine is cinnamon sticks. We have taken two sticks and we have broken it into four pieces. Then uh, some pods, a few pods of cardamom, uh, 10 to 12 pods, which could add it a little bit of flavor to our wine. Then we have added a few pods of cloves, as in 10 to 15 pods of cloves. So these are the ingredients apart from the yeast that we will help, that would help us to make our wine. The next step is to take a wine maker. We have a glass wine maker over here. Please ensure it is dry and clean too. So ideally we can take a glass wine maker. Usually uh, it's not advisable to use plastic. In fact we had used plastic previously but now we have changed over to a glass, to a glass wine maker. Now we have kept aside our wine. Uh, in our previous video we have cooked our, our rice as well as the sugar solution and we had left it to cool down for 8 hours. Now this solution we will be pouring it into the wine maker. Now we carefully pour the solution of uh, sugar solution along with the rice into the wine maker or a clean uh, glass vessel. Now we have dropped in the rice along with the sugar solution. The next step is to add the spices. So now we drop in the cinnamon sticks. Next we add the, the cardamom that we have, we have added the cardamom and finally we are adding the cloves. Next we need to stir these ingredients. Stir the ingredients together and the final ingredient that we are going to add into the wine, uh, wine maker is the yeast. Now we have added the yeast and we will make a final stir of all these ingredients together. Now we stir all these ingredients together is to cover the wine maker. Please ensure that you do not cover it too tight because the fermentation process uh, will start 
and there will be a lot of carbon dioxide being generated. So ideally this might even break the bottle too. So just keep the, this in mind and cover the winemaker slightly. Now we need to keep this wine for next 21 days and every day we need to stir it a bit. So ideally uh, we will be seeing, we will open our wine and we will filter our wine after 21 days. So please ensure to store this wine in a cool and dark place for the fermentation to take place. Now it has been 14 days since we have kept our wine and today we are going to uh, strain the wine and get it into bottles. Before straining our wine into bottles, we need to first stir it. We have stirred our wine. Now we have taken a dry strainer and a clean vessel, also which is a dry vessel. Now we need to pour the wine into the strainer to filter all the rice content. Now we have poured a rice as well as the wine into the strainer. Next we need to squeeze out all the juices that are in the sediments. This is the wine that we have strained right now. Now the final step is to pour the wine into the wine bottle. So here we pour the wine into the wine bottle and we fill the wine bottle three fourth. Please ensure that there is no moisture in the wine bottle nor in the uh, funnel or in the vessel because there is a chance that the wine bottle or the wine might get spoiled. As we see we have filled a bottle only three fourth. This is because uh, the uh, fermentation takes place in spite uh, we have placed it in the bottles. So ideally keep it three fourth else uh, there is a lot of carbon dioxide which is coming out of this wine. So there is a chance that the bottle might crack. So just fill your bottles three fourth. Also there shouldn't be any moisture too else the wine might get spoiled. So now we have filled our wine into all our wine bottles. Now our wine is ready to be served. Let's enjoy it. We hope you like watching our videos and we request you to like, share and comment on them if you found our videos really useful and informative. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And until the next video, take care, stay safe and see you soon. Bye-bye.